hello my beauties you're welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by if it's your first time please don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video and share it around the globe and without much ado let's get right into the video today's video i'll quickly like to talk about green veins i feel like i'm in a better position to talk about green veins because i have suffered from green veins I've said this before in the order of my video. It's true. I have suffered and suffered and suffered from green veins. And how I was able to get rid of it, it was a process. So I've gotten a lot of comments, a lot of calls, a lot of text messages on WhatsApp asking me how I was able to clear my green veins. And I'm sure that is because starting my channel two years ago, I'm sure people usually see me maybe with green veins struggling and all that and now they see that my skin is clear so i guess that's why they keep asking me how were you able to get rid of your green veins and to put everyone in one place and sit them down and talk i think this is the best avenue to do that just to create a video so that everyone will get to benefit and everyone will get to learn from it so that's why i'm making this a video so look at my hands I usually have lots of green veins here. Look at here. Here. So by the end of the, this video, you should be able to number one identify a cream that is going to cause green veins. And number two, you'll be able to treat the one that you have. And number three, what else will you learn? Who can guess? No one. Number three, you should be able to redo your cream. If at all you already have a cream that is causing green veins and there are so many that you can't change, you will know how to mix one or two together to avoid this problem. And you will also be able to like interchange things that you're doing on your skin such that your skin blends together and everything looks silky and looks like a porch looking okay hey guys so the first thing you should do is to know the cause of the problem because in every situation if you do know the cause of the problem you will be able to get a better solution to it so you should know first of all if your green veins is caused by a cream is it caused by the constant exposure to UV rays like the sun? Or is it caused by chemicals, that's probably cream, or any other thing that you're adding on your skin? Is it caused by scrub? That, <laughs> that causes green veins a lot. I don't know why that topic is not usually mentioned. But I will tell you that scrubs causes a green veins a lot because we do not want to go to a mouth scrub we want to go to a sharp scrub that will be able to see the difference in one week so that is the more reason we will tend to have green veins with scrub scrub causes green veins cream causes green veins i don't want to repeat myself and soap causes green veins so the first to start with is the cream how do you identify that a cream, that cream that you got, or that organic cream that they said is good for you, is the one causing you to have green veins? How? Number one, I have made a video on how you can identify this by using a bleach. You can use a bleach to test your cream, as simple as that, so that do not have to go the whole way of having to go and get a test um, a test done on your cream or get um, the equipment to test your cream no one has that kind of money but if you do still good for you but I personally use bleach to test my cream and when I use bleach I can identify if that cream has steroid or if that cream has um, hydroquinone because number one the thing you should know that any cream that lightens or alters your skin tone either has steroid or hydroquinone. So 
the best thing now is for you to know which one works better on your skin is it steroid or is it hydroquinone hydroquinone is nice it gives you a good whitening like the filipinos kind of lightening the milky lightening while steroid is going to give you the yellow purple kind of lightning more often that's what i notice so if you are using hydroquinone if you are using hydroquinone hydroquinone is something that you have to do interchangeably like you change with something uh, something very mild and you change with something very um, um sharp so that it blends your skin because people run away from getting dark oh this cream will get me dark this cream will get me dark i have recommended um dr teals for some people who complain about green veins like i just recommended that moisturizer so that you'll be able to you know add moisturizer on your skin in case your skin is just drying out from the cream you're using or it's just thinning out from the cream you're using you can use them um, that doctor seems to like balance your skin so i will recommend it's going to make them dark and i say that okay if it's going to make you dark you can interchange with a lightening stuff that is that is good if you're using bleach to test your cream but once you add the bleach on that cream it changes color if it changes color that is hydroquinone but if it does not change color but that um, cream still lightens you it's steroid it's either it's high dose or it's lower dosage so you are not totally free if they bleach if you test it with bleach and then it doesn't change color you're not totally free there are two ways they they must have added a lightening agent for any cream to alter your skin tone even organic even the organic we are talking about they add something because you complain you're complaining that this this does this, this does this, this does this, it darkens me, it darkens me, it darkens me. So you force them to add things. They add steroid to it to boost the cream for you. Organic creams do not work in a um, in, um, sunny environment. Organic cream is best used in a weather that is very mild, uh, very, you know, a kind of AC like environment so you see if you're using organic cream and you work in the bank such that you're going to be under a c247 you can't be you would say that the organic cream won't work it's real your your skin will look like a baby skin that is organic for you and you top that with taking fruit your skin will be beautiful but where the problem lies is when you use organic and you go under the sun to the market you go under the sun for your business or you stay in a hot house a hot environment you're not under ac247 you're not like you're not shielding even if you shield yourself as long as that heat continuous penetration of heat into your skin can damage you you may stay indoors not under the sun but heat in the house heat heat <laughs> and then you're using hydroquinone it's possible that it will do damage to your skin to darken you because the, it has no room to work what you want it to do so you have to identify this and why i'm bringing up this hydroquinone and steroid is because using high dose of it thins your skin and when it thins your skin that is when you begin to have green veins so like i mentioned the cost is like soap if your soap is too sharp uh, like um using a sharp soap and a sharp cream using um example nano extract like nano nano soap nano soap nano soap bar soap is very sharp so if you're using such a sharp soap and then and you know it's very drying 
it's very dry any any soap that can lighten you within seven days and you're using it with a cream that is lightening or whitening probably adding a scrub to it and you do it morning afternoon and night sometimes you do it sometimes morning and night and you expect that your skin will be good your skin will be good for 7 to 14 days your skin may be good for one month or two months but in the long run your skin will become thin and then it spoils everything and causing the damage is easier than repairing the damage so now that we know the causes which is using sharp cream sharp scrub and sharp soap not adding moisturizer let's quickly now talk about how to get rid of it if you know the cause you start from stopping the cause for example if the cause is actually a man adding all the sharp sharp things on your skin you stop them for example if you're using a sharp soap that is drying that is drying out your skin you have to use a moisturizer as a cream and then that soap you only use it at night at night and then if you are using a very sharp cream then you have you can make use of toilet soap as your bathing soap or any um, body wash that is moisturizing not lightening you can make use of even joy to lock to ever so to have your bath because you are using a lightening cream then if you want to add scrub to it you can do it once in a week then you give yourself a month of transformation you do not give yourself one week to two weeks of transformation. We are talking about your skin and should be the most valuable thing to you. Okay? So knowing the cause will be able, you will be able to help yourself interchange these things. And then you'll be able to balance your skin tone. It worked for me because that is what I did. It really, really worked for me. In fact, after getting to a skin tone that I see and admire myself on, I actually just stop using cream. There are sometimes I will have my bag and just can, I can just use body butter on my skin, like mango butter at night and, and sleep without using anything. Or I can just use any moisturizer like... Um, a base cream I can even use a base cream I can use body oils after having my bath without cleaning my body I use body oils to rub on my skin and I sleep I can do that for two days within a week while I use my cream in the remaining days then while you are doing this you don't expect it to work miracles you do this as a body treatment and you and as a treatment you can give yourself like one month of skin repairs give yourself one month to two months of skin repairs know that this one to two months you just want to repair your skin then you go that way and go gradual and give be very patient be very patient with your skin if there is anything i value it is my skin because it's the first thing you're seeing especially my face skin i do not joke with it so I, am, I get very patient with it. If I want to treat my face, if I want to treat my face, I decide on the kind of face I want to be seen in the next three months. And I, dis, and I start, I give myself three months, not less than two months of doing that. I don't just want to treat my face and give it the look that I want. And then I, I give myself one week, then I go and pick something very sharp and start using it. No, I don't do that. So what you're learning from this video is to number one use your cream and your soap interchangeably if you're using this one that is sharp use the next one that is mild that way you will balance your skin and number two thing you're, you're learning from this video is to be patient with your skin don't treat your skin only when you have occasion don't 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 do everything good to your skin carry the worst cream and rub 
just because it's going to lighting because you have a wedding to attend next week no if you have a wedding to attend next month start now to go mild and don't roll cream in the night and in the morning start looking at yourself in the mirror and to, to, to see whether <laughs> to see whether you've been lighted up please it's not magic don't add so much chemical on your skin and the third thing you've learned from this video is that you try to test your cream you are testing your cream already if you're picking a cream you already know if there is a lightening cream or not you already know if, if what they write there is what you know from the name you already know and from the write-up you already know and you can check up reviews to know if it's a right if it's a right lightening cream and you decide if your skin works with hydroquinone or your skin works with steroid there are people that like the yellow purple skin on um skin tone and the people that like the um white white filipino kind of undertone so it depends on what you want and you go for such a cream that gives that you read reviews listen to reviews before you pick up any cream this is what i have for you today and i hope this video will be helpful if you have any other helpful tips on how someone can get rid of their green veins you drop it in the comment section down below and if you have any questions on the ones you already have the green veins you already have that i have not talked about you can also drop it in the comment section i'll be there to read it and answer to the best of my knowledge but this is my sincere approach on how i treated mine my sincere approach and i hope it's helpful to someone out there thank you very much guys for watching this video please subscribe like share and then see you on my next video bye